though, I wanted to start off this video talking to you guys a little bit about this product. This product I'm going to be reviewing is a Crackle nail polish. I have pasted a link in the information section to the same exact brand I'm using. I didn't purchase mine there, I purchased mine locally. And this Crackle polish comes in a variety of colors. The ones I purchased are black, white, and brown, but they have a wider variety. These are non-toxic water-based crackle polishes, so they're very fun to use. Um, basically, I wanted to try these out. I did read that these work best on acrylics and gels, and I thought, I have natural nails and I want to try it out. There has to be a way that I could try it out on my natural nails. And it does say that if you want to try it out, you should buff out your nail, wash your hands, and then go through the process. I didn't want to have to buff out my nails just so that I could try the crackle polish. So I thought if it's about the natural oils, I'm going to try and go as far away from my natural oils as I possibly could. So what I did is I applied two base coats, two colored polish coats, and then a top coat. I did wait in between each coat for it to completely dry before applying the next coat. And then I applied the crackle polish and it worked great. Let's zoom in and go through the process. What I've done here is I've applied a pink polish of my choice. The one I'm using is this one by Alley Colors and it's called Electrified. The crackle polish I'm going to be using is the brown one. It's just simply called brown. So I'm just going to start at the root of my nail or my, my cuticle area and I'm going to start brushing it upwards and just trying to cover the whole thing and you're going to begin to see how quickly it begins to crackle there. You're seeing there it's beginning to crackle on the sides and then you're going to see that it um, it dries matte. Now what you can do is leave it matte the way you see there or you can decide to add the top coat like I did. I wanted to add the top coat just because um, I like it to look shiny, but I also liked it matte. It's very pretty. So the last thing to do is to apply your top coat, if that's what you decide. And it's very smooth. If you decide not to add a top coat, it's very smooth anyways. It doesn't feel bumpy or anything uncomfortable. It's matte and it's just smooth. It's not um, an uncomfortable fit to it. It's just, it's all very, very nice and smooth. So there we have the top coat. I'm going to show you um, the colors, the color combinations I created. For example, I used a purple background and then I used the, the white crackle polish and I came up with this. So you can see there it brings it I suppose if you use a really dark color, it's best if you're going to use a light crackle polish and vice versa. If you're going to be using a dark crackle polish, then use a light background like I did on my brown. So here you could see it just turns into a lighter tone of purple, the crackle part one. So for this one, I used these two. Now I'm going to show you a black and a white effect. For this effect, I used a white background and I used a black crackle polish. And this is what it came up with. And both of these are matte. The two that I just showed you, the per you can add the top coat and make it shiny or just leave it matte, like I said. But this is how I got this effect. I just wanted to show you guys a couple of samples of the way it would look. And then you have these two and then the, the brown one. And they have a variety of colors, but I just, it was very fun to do this review and I really enjoyed um, using this crackle polish. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and try it out. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.